Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Sudbury from Parfums de Marly. This is a beautiful white floral fragrance I've had my eye on for a very long time and I've been meaning to review this fragrance for months, but I wanted to wait until it was closer to fall to review it for you guys. So if you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance and then keep watching. Now, for transparency purposes, this was sent to me to review. This was not sent to me by Parfums de Marly, though. This was sent to me by Forever Lux. They reached out and wanted to know if I wanted to talk about their uh, their business. They're a fantastic uh, discount perfume website. And this is one of the fragrances that I actually requested from them because I had a love for this fragrance and I had I was going to purchase this fragrance and I know this fragrance well. So this is one of the fragrances that I requested from them because I know Parfums de Marly is one of the brands that there are a lot of fakes out there. And since I have a good idea of how this fragrance smells and a lot of experience with this particular perfume, I was able to tell if it was authentic, if it was kept correctly, and I'm happy to say that most definitely they exceeded my expectations with everything in regards to this fragrance. So this was sent to me by Forever Lux, and I will link the fragrance on their website below just to let you guys know for transparency purposes. In any case, let's get into the review. So this is a fragrance from Parfums de Marly. It was released in 2015, and I have actually been sampling this fragrance for probably at least a year, if not longer. I would go into Nordstrom's, I would make myself little samples of it. I had official samples of it. I loved this scent, but I never got around to purchasing it. So this scent is a beautiful bouquet of white florals. Let me tell you about the notes and I'll tell you about how this fragrance smells, how it develops longevity, and why I waited for Closer to Fall to review it. So the notes in this fragrance are tangerine, bergamot, sage, and lavender in the opening. At the heart, you have tuberose and jasmine and iris, and at the base, you have vanilla, sandalwood, amber, benzoin, patchouli, and vetiver. And I'm wearing the scent today because this is really beautiful. <laughs> I am a white floral lover. I think white florals are gorgeous year round. You can find perfect white florals for summer, perfect white florals for spring, and I really like white florals in the fall. I just like white florals in general. But this scent is very aromatic. This scent is really beautiful. It's a little bit creamy. It's got the beautiful kind of slight powderiness from the iris and then the patchouli and the amber. Just give this a nice kind of substantial base that has warmth and creaminess and sweetness. But I feel like this fragrance to me is one of the fragrances that smells like it's vintage inspired or a vintage fragrance, but it has a modern appeal. It doesn't smell dated, it doesn't smell out of place in um, more casual settings, and it definitely works very well in formal settings. It's just a beautiful all-around floral scent. The star of the show with this fragrance is tuberose. And if you're a tuberose lover and you haven't gotten your nose on this scent, please do. The tuberose in this isn't tropical, the tuberose in this isn't musky or sharp. It's like a slight creamy, just really delicious white floral uh, tuberose scent. It's almost not a gourmand, but it kind of has like a creamy, like panna cotta custard-like feel to it or smell to it, which I find to be really attractive. There's a little bit of powderiness in there. It's very aromatic in the opening and a little bit bright. That warmth from the patchouli and the amber and the sandalwood really pair gorgeous with the florals in the scent. There's a lot of complexity to this fragrance. There's a lot of little nuances in this fragrance, but overall it is just an absolutely stellar tuberose scent. And I think that the warmth and the little bit of woodiness that you get in the base makes the scent beautiful for fall weather, but you could most definitely wear this fragrance year round. This fragrance to me smells very substantial. It has a presence to it, but it's not a super loud fragrance either. And it's also a very familiar scent. So although this is a white floral that does have a lot of complexity to it, I find that this fragrance would be appropriate for professional settings. It has a fantastic longevity. I get about six to eight hours of wear on my skin and it has moderate sillage. Overall, I think the true beauty to Parfums de Marly doesn't have to do with them breaking ground, um, 
that's like being trailblazers, creating new things. I think that they find a profile of fragrances that people really love and they just create something absolutely amazing and magical. Think Delina, that's another really beautiful rose scent that has a lot going for it. It smells very familiar, but it's one of the best fragrances of that style and that composition that you can find. The same can be said for Sudbury. I find that this is an absolutely substantial white floral scent and it's one of the white floral scents that has a few other florals going around um, that are help elevate the floralness, the white floralness, but it doesn't get muddled. You really can pick out the tuberose, you can pick out the aromatic qualities of the lavender, you can pick out the sandalwood, you can pick out the patchouli, you can pick out the iris, but in no way does that overpower the tuberose. In fact, it's one of those fragrances that helps elevate the tuberose and makes it a little bit more substantial without it coming off as too muddy, too heady, too indolic, although I love indolic tuberoses. It just really sets the stage for this gorgeous white floral scent that I find to just be really spectacular. I love white floral scents. i had been putting off purchasing this for a while, so I was very happy to have the opportunity to get this and to, again, you know, be able to try something from a discount site that offers a great library, great discounts, and I can say with certainty that this is a fragrance worth getting full price most definitely i would pay full price for it that's what i was considering doing sorry about that but you can get a great deal on this at forever Lux, so i will link that below anyway that's my thoughts on sudbury from parfums de la marley obviously it's a glowing review but i would love to know what you guys think is this am i being too giving it too much praise is this a fragrance that you've tried that you don't like are you a fan of parfums de marley are you not a fan fan of parfums de marley let me know in the comment section below as always, guys, if you like my videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.